A man would be fired from his job, and then he took revenge. Hello, true crimers. This is the case of Pacific Southwest Airlines Flight 1771. Viewer discretion is advised. And a trigger warning to anyone who is sensitive about plane crashes. On December 7th, 1987, 38 passengers and five crew members would board Flight 1771. It departed from Los Angeles International Airport and its destination was the San Francisco International Airport. The flight took off as scheduled at 3.31 p.m. One of the passengers aboard the plane was this man, David Augustus Burke. He had actually been working for Pacific Southwest Airlines. He was a ticketing agent, uh, but he would actually end up getting fired. This was because he stole like 70 bucks. But they also suspected he was a part of a cocaine drug ring and that he was using the airline for trafficking. He desperately pleaded for his job back, but that was denied. Now, the manager who fired him, whose name was Ray Thompson, he had booked a flight on Flight 1771. And David found out that he was going to be aboard that flight. Now, he still had his airline credentials because they hadn't yet been taken away from him because the firing was so recent. So he was able to use those credentials to bypass the normal passenger security checkpoints. He then boarded the plane by going into one of the locked crew doors because the codes to get into that door was like etched above the door. And with him, a Smith & Wesson. Yep, 44 caliber Magnum revolver. He used an air sickness bag to write a little note to Ray Thompson. The note allegedly read, Hi Ray, I think it's sort of ironical that we end up like this. I asked for some leniency for my family. Remember? Well, I got none and you'll get none. Burke then entered the cockpit. The pilots were in the middle of actually talking to air traffic control when the air traffic control people then heard two shots. The voice recorder then picked up a flight attendant entering the cockpit and screaming to the rest of the crew, we have a problem. The air traffic control person said, what's the problem? Burke fired another shot and then the voice recorder picked him up saying, I'm the problem, and then fired two more shots. Burke then pushed the control column all the way forward, putting the plane into a direct nosedive. And then the plane crashed into a hillside. All 43 people on board, including David Burke, were killed instantly. They found the note that Burke had written to Thompson. They found the gun with six spent casings. They determined the plane hit at a 70 degree angle. They were only ever able to identify 11 people. This story helps change a lot of laws.